Now let's actually solve a system by substitution. So what we have here are two equations and two variables. And what we need is one equation and one variable. So we're going to use the concept of substitution, which means to replace. So I look at the first equation. I have y equals 2x. So I take y equals 2x, and I am going to substitute in this y for something that it's equal to. Now the other equation tells me what it's equal to. It tells me that it's equal to 4x minus 6. So when I use the substitution method, I'm going to basically put one equation into the other equation so that I'm only left with one variable. So this 4x minus 6 replaces that y, so I get the equation 4x minus 6 equals 2x. And so now I have an equation in one variable that I can solve. This is just a plain old variables on both sides equation which you solved in the second six weeks. So I'm going to choose to subtract off 4x from both sides. So I get negative 6 equals negative 2x, and then divide both sides by negative 2, and I get x equals 3. And so I have the value of x. I'm not done yet, though, because I need to find both x and y. So I can take either one of these equations and solve for y. And I'm going to use the first one. So y equals 2 times 3, which means y equals 6. So it looks like my solution is the point 36, but I can't be sure of it just yet, and I have to be super careful. There are a lot of places to mess up with substitution. Not so much in this example, but later on when we do you know, more complex examples, you can drop a sign someplace, subtract something wrong, forget to divide something by a negative, and then the whole thing is wrong. So we better double check our answer, and here's how. So to check, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure the point 36 is on both of those lines. And if I had my graphing calculator with me, I can just graph both lines and check the table and see if 36 were on both. And oh, let's see here. Oh, I do have my graphing calculator. Yay. So I'm going to go to y equals and clear off the madness that's left up there. And I have 2x is my first equation. And I have 4x minus 6 is my second equation. So I'm going to check to see if the point 36 belongs to both equations. So I scroll down to 3, and I see at 3, 6 is the y value for y1, and 6 is the y value for y2. So I've checked it. Therefore, I know that my solution is indeed the point 3, 6. Box it off. Happy face. Now why don't you try to solve this example. It is also a one hamster level example. So I want you to solve the system y equals 2x minus 4 and y equals 3x by substitution. Now it's time to add a hamster on and try this example that's a little bit more challenging. So I'm going to use the same thing. I'm going to solve it by substitution. Um, and I have something that's substitution ready, meaning it's either an equation x equals or y equals format. This one's in y equals format. But I also notice that it's in point slope form. And I am never going to substitute anything in point slope into anything else. I'm going to go ahead and simplify this first, OK, because that's just gross. All right, so let's simplify that. By distribution, I get y equals 2 fifths x minus 2 minus 1, which is y equals 2 fifths x minus 3. Now, I want to double check to make sure I did this right, because if I simplified that wrong, that means every single step I take after this is also going to be wrong. So I'm going to do 2 fifths times x minus 5 minus 1 as y1, and y2 is going to be what I think the simplified version is going to be, 2 fifths x minus 3. And these two lines better be exactly the same or I messed up. Oh, and they are exactly the same, so yay. Now, I really haven't done any substitution work. All I've done was I've simplified this equation here so that it's now easier to substitute into that second equation. And so what I need to do now is to actually substitute and solve the system. So I take the other equation, the 4x minus 10y equals 30, and I replace that y with 2 fifths x minus 3. All right, so I have 4x minus 10, and since I'm substituting, I should put things in parentheses, 2 fifths of x minus 3 equals 30. So now I have one equation and one variable that I need to solve to find my solution. 
So I have 4x, and I need to distribute negative 10. And negative 10 times 2 fifths is negative 20 over 5, or negative 4x. And then negative time, uh, 10 times negative 3 is positive 30. And so then I get 4x minus 4x plus 30 equals 30. And so those two are gone, and I'm left with something peculiar. I'm left with 30 equals 30. And remember when we solved equations that were, you know, just like this without the system? Uh, if I had something like that, that meant I had all reals as my solution set. But that's not the case because I'm not solving an equation. I'm solving a system of equations. And a system of equations uh, solution is the set of all points in common. And so what I see here, I need to interpret this. And the interpretation of this is it's the same line. So that means that y equals 2 fifths x, blah, 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 and 4x minus 10y, blah, 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 are the same line. So any point on that line is the solution. And I have to write that in solution set notation in the weird way. I'm going to use it in solution set. You could also write the sentence, but I'm going to do it this way. Um, I want every single x and y such that, and then I just pick one of the equations, and I'm just going to pick the 4x minus 10y equals 30. And so then this tells me that any point on the line, 4x minus 10y equals 30, is a solution to the system. So now it's your turn to try a two hamster level problem. I want you to solve the system y equals 3x minus 5 and x minus y equals 4 using substitution. All right, so now let's try this two hamster level problem. x minus 4y equals 7 and 3x minus 12y equals 15. And I want to solve by substitution. Now, both of these equations are in standard form, which means they are not substitution ready. And substitution ready means one equation or both equations are written in an x equals or y equals format. And neither of these are. So I need to find a variable that's maybe easy to solve for to get the equations, one of the equations substitution ready. And I notice that this equation right here, the x is all by itself. So that means it, it's really easy to get it solved for x equals. So I'm going to take x minus 4y equals 7 and solve it for x equals. So I'm going to get x equals, and I subtract, or I add 4y to both sides. So I get 4y plus 7. Now, this equation is substitution ready, which means I can go ahead and plug it into the second equation. So I take 3x minus 12y equals 15, and I'm going to plug in this x, uh, 4y plus 7, for this x. So 3, open parentheses, 4y plus 7 minus 12y equals 15. I distribute, I get 12y plus uh, 21 minus 12y equals 15, and those 12ys cancel, and I get 21 equals 15, which is never true, so I have another peculiar situation here. And so I need to interpret this, and the interpretation of 21 equals 15 is, uh, dude, that's not true, that's never true. So I have parallel lines and no solution. So whenever you get you try to solve a system by substitution and you get something that's not equal like that, that means those lines were parallel. Now for your final check for understanding, I want you to solve a system of equations using substitution where both equations are written in standard form like the example I just did. So 5x minus y equals 2 and 2x plus 2y equals 16 is the system you need to solve.